Hey, hey developers, today I'm gonna do yet another Udemy course review. I think you guys like these courses, uh, reviews, and like these courses, so I thought I'd do one more, and Udemy's having a sale, an Easter sale, until 4.22, so uh, let's take a look. Hey, and if you don't know, my name is Eric. I'm a full stack software developer. I'm also a big fan of Udemy. So I'm gonna show you guys today the result-oriented web developer course. So this course is pretty neat and it's something that I wanted to show you guys because it's a little bit different than other courses that I have been reviewing. And one of the reasons it's different is that this course isn't from, you know, Angela, you or Colt Steel or someone like this. It's it's a fairly new course and I don't see a whole lot of people talking about it because it is so new and I just wanted to show you everything that it has. So this course uh, teaches you all about HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, Bootstrap 4, and more. And by the way, if you're listening to this right now, I really appreciate it. Stay all the way to the end because I might have a surprise for you guys if you do. Uh, so this course is another really, really long course. And I like this. I like when you get 41 and a half hours of content. You know, the other day I did a review in a course that was only like three or four hours, which was sweet and short and to the point. But when you get into these really complicated web dev courses, more hours is actually good. It, it can be very good. So the description is that it's the result-oriented web developer course, and it's the most illustrated course on the web development ever. The only course you need to learn web development. It's course is perfect for beginners, step-by-step. Step. So uh, I have gone through the course. Now, I this is a sort of a review, more of a preview. I haven't watched all 41 and a half hours. I actually just received this a couple of days ago, and I've just been skimming through it. So, but I, I from what I've seen, it is great, so I do recommend it. And I'll show you what to expect if you take this course. So there's no surprises. And you get no risk. We are confident that you like the course. You have a 30 day money back guarantee. I think that's pretty much on most Udemy courses, you can get money back. And you get nine major projects that you go through, which is really cool. And they're like real world apps. And right now it's at 41 and a half hours. There is nine projects but the ninth project isn't completed yet so I will show you an idea of what you can expect from the first eight projects so that's why it's courses actually isn't complete and this also this kind of sounds like a little bit of hyperbole here but it does have some really nice illustrations and animated explanations which is something I don't see too often in other courses usually you just get some basic slides and then they just jump right into the code this one actually has pretty good illustrations, and I'll, I'll show you an example, actually. And it's the right tutorial, spending far too much time and effort trying to figure out technologies and learn why. So the first steps, one and two, is the learn front end, web development, and then you learn back end. So I'll show you guys that, too. And you can see here, this gives you a little bit of a preview. HTML5, CSS3, Emmet, even go into Photoshop, and then Flexbox, which I really like. Then the front end web development intermediate goes into Bootstrap 4, JavaScript, jQuery, and Git. I'll get back to this jQuery and Bootstrap 4 in a minute. And then at the end of it, it goes through Node.js, Express. I think those are all really solid. MongoDB, Mongoose, REST, Ajax, API. I like Postgres, but I, I'm Mongo Mon, uh, MongoDB is actually really growing on me, and I'm actually doing a video next week on MongoDB, so keep an eye out for that. And like I said, build nine major projects. And it's created by the Verde Vertex Academy. Um, this is their only course on Udemy, so it's, it's not like they have tons of courses, but I mean, it's a pretty good start. So let's take a look at it. I'm gonna make sure this right here is muted. So uh, I'm going to show you a couple of the, I'm going to jump through some of these videos so you can kind of take a look at it a little bit more. And that, that shouldn't be a problem. So they're going to build, so at the beginning of it, the first section, you're going to build nine huge projects, like I said, and we're going to learn HTML5, CSS3, and Flexbox. And the first section is an HTML5. So 
the topics you learn is kind of what you expect in an HTML5, like how do you create headings? So for example, I'll just jump through this video, like here's the H1 header, here's the H2 header, you know, pretty simple stuff. Get into order lists, nested lists, images, tables, links, comments. So if you, let's take a look at comments for a second. Uh, you know, here's how you do a comment. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty simple. You know, these are all like many other courses. They break it up into like four to 10 minute videos. So here's special symbols, which you can expect here. I'm just gonna jump through this and look at it as it loads, I think. There it goes. So you can see here the special symbols you expect. And then it jumps into your first project. So your first project is like a coffee and cake uh, project. So it's kind of like a really simple website, just what you learned recently from the previous section of how to create a website. Uh, so you're going to have like symbols, HTML, and it should load here as it just takes a second to load. Yeah, so you can see here that has like a contact us page, back to the main page, just really simple stuff like that. Then you get into a CSS3 section and you go through all the basics of CSS. I should really, I'm trying to up up my CSS game. Sometimes just going back through and reviewing CSS is a great way to just keep your keep an idea on what you can do. Uh, so one thing about the animation, I'm gonna look at section 43 and then I'm going to jump a little bit forward so you can see here it has border padding margins and they actually have animations. So this is kind of kind of nice. It's it's definitely a little bit more interactive. It's not just uh, kind of blank slides that he's going through. He actually uh, shows you how it interactively works like the box model. And, you know, here's the different here's what it looks like with 10, 20, 30, 10 pixels compared to the border width. And so these nice little animations are a nice little touch. And he has this throughout the course. Uh, same thing on like 44. We can take a look here. You know, once again, we have just like a little bit of animations coming in, explaining the box model, which is really cool. And he has this throughout the course. So that's something to look forward to and makes it really simple. Pseudo classes, transforms, a section on Emmet, which this is really something that I, I use all the time. It's built into Visual Studio Code, but you can pretty much get it for all your different development editors. This is a way you can like really easily and quickly, uh, you can really, so you can see here, you can download for all the different editors, but it's a really easy way to like auto-generate HTML really, really quickly. You can see here, he put nav and then the greater sign UL and greater sign LI. If he hits tab, then it'll automatically create those for you. I don't think there's really great, there's not too many great tutorials on that in usually these larger courses. And I'm glad that's a nice little touch that he added in because this will make you more productive. Photoshop, uh, I'm not gonna go through that, but that's Photoshop for you. I would rather have something like, maybe this is a little nitpicky, something more like Sketch or one of the other type programs that people use to take a I don't know, as, as some kind of design and move it over to HTML or CSS. The next project is Exotic Car. That's kind of like a, a, another type of project that you're gonna look at. You can see this is pretty involved. I'm not gonna show you all of it, but he's kind of taking this PSD and then converting it over to HTML and CSS. He walks you through how to do that. Flexbox is great because I think Flexbox and Grid are really where all developers should be going. If you're doing CSS and HTML, you should be using Flexbox. Um, and with a slight caveat, if you have to support really old Internet Explorer browsers, which nowadays most companies have given up on everything except IE 11. And that tells you, teaches you about that. And then it goes into another project called Gotham. And I think this is what really makes courses well. You can see, once again, we got a PSD here. He shows you how to go through it and and grab it. And you can take these same principles and use it in Sketch and other design programs. Um, a lot of times, I was actually just talking to a friend, and this was their job. Even as a senior developer, they had to go through and through his PSDs and convert them over to actual HTML and CSS. So this is 
bread and butter, especially if you're a new developer, you're going to be doing things like this, either in Sketch or in Photoshop or something else where you're going to have to take designs and convert them over. And so this is really great stuff because then he shows you how to do the CSS, how to do the search box and everything like that. Now, Bootstrap 4 is still really popular. A lot of companies use it. I would just focus more on the Flexbox section and just skip Bootstrap 4 unless you're really wanting to learn it. I don't know. Maybe just go like skim through this. It's kind of personal preference. Maybe if you were trying to get your first job and you want to create a really cool portfolio site, you can use Bootstrap and it would be a little bit easier. I would see if you could, you can get Sketch. By the way, there's websites that basically you can download different s designs, either PSD files or Sketch files, and then you can try to convert them over yourself. You can even just steal designs. There's many websites out there they can steal, or you can go to uh, something like Dribble and look for a design that you really like and then try to recreate that. I would try to do that in something like Flex instead of using uh, using Bootstrap, but that's really up to you. Uh, then they got another, uh, another project, which is like a Let's Travel, which uses Bootstrap. This is kind of cool. Then they do actually the CNN news website. So if you go to CNN.com, this website, this this project is how to recreate it, which is kind of a cool thing, and it kind of gives you walk by uh, walk step by step of like how you would do that. And then when you get into section thirteen, you're starting to get a little bit more advanced stuff. So now we're jumping into JavaScript, and all the basic JavaScript operators, undefined, and uh, comments, logical operators, if then else's, loops, while loops, types. And then some exercises on how to uh, practice those callbacks, arrays, scopes, more projects, object methods, JS selectors, events, and then like a project, like how to get generate random number. There's like a little project for block manipulation, which is kind of cool. Balloons, I think I remember. Yeah, you're like making animated balloons. I think this is all done with CSS and some animation stuff and some jQuery, not jQuery, but uh, some JavaScript. So that's kind of a cool little project you can do and you can move your cursor and pop them. Now this whole jQuery section, I it's two hours and 11 minutes. I think you should know jQuery as a web developer, but once again, most companies are moving away from it. I, I would avoid it, but you probably could get a job. There's plenty of companies still using jQuery, so here's your section on it. You can't do any kind of project without a, any kind of course without a to-do list, and here's one. Now, some of these sections are unique. Like, you don't see too many on version control, so that's good. They have, like, a get basics um, section. Command line, you know, this is really intimidating for new developers. It's cool they had, like, a basic command line problem, uh, command line section in here, like how to work with command tasks. And he just jumps in, he's using a Mac here, and here's the command line, and he kind of explains some basic commands and how to move around, which I think is really, really well worth it. I use command line all the time. And then the backend language that they use is Node.js, so there's that. Uh, I think Node's great, so, so is Express. And they teach you how to do that, even like a section on NPM, which is the package manager. They even talk you about routing. So you kind of create a whole project in the back end, how to do modules, asynchronous JavaScript. So like how to do callbacks, promises, async await, which is very helpful, handy. And then the database MongoDB. So, and even talk about what's the difference between SQL and NoSQL, how to install it, Mongoose, schemas. This is really more advanced stuff and it's perfect. And then you can do, how do you set up like a RESTful interface? So this is really covering a lot of stuff in the back end. Like here's a get request. I'll jump to a spot in the video. Like yeah, using app.get, um, like this is how you would get a request. Um, you can set up a server so that it can look for a get request. And then you can go to it and it's pretty simple, pretty cool. Now section nine, the last two section 27, 28 are not done yet. So look forward to doing that. I know from the author, he told me that he's working on it. So you guys can, you know, look forward to that. So that's, that's it. I mean, I kind of went through that pretty slowly, uh, but I, 
I think this is kind of a diamond in a rough for from what I've seen. Um, no way have I. It says only one of 290. I actually been just kind of jumping back and forth with the with all the different videos, but I didn't never completed one. So this is this is more of a preview, I guess you could say. But I would say it's highly recommended. Udemy's having their sale until the end of uh, Easter for 422. You know, it's only eleven dollars and ninety nine cents. Make sure you use the link in the description. If you do, I get a few bucks, which I really appreciate. And you also help support the author. Uh, so I, I, yeah, I would check this course out, check it out, buy it out, buy it, and let me know. And just because you guys are awesome, I will pick one random person who buys. Actually, do these three things. Make sure you comment, you like the video, and you subscribe. And I will pick one, probably just one person. I'm going to ask the author to give me one free copy, and I'll give it to you so you guys can check it out. But I would highly recommend just buy it. It's 12 bucks. While it's on sale, it's normally a $200 course. You're going to get it for 12 bucks, 42 hours. It's soon to be 46 or 47 hours. So it's a good deal. Check it out. Thanks.